Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. My name is Tom Novak, and today we're going to do uh, the pouring. Let me bring it closer so you can see. It's going to be the pouring part two, day seven. Almost sounds like The Shining with Jack Nicholson, <laughs> the old movie. Uh, today's uh, February 10th of 2022. It's 28 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 2 degrees Celsius with a wind chill of 18 degrees Fahrenheit minus 8 degrees Celsius. Today's Thursday. Uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to, I'm going to show you how the, the water turned out. And then we're going to do the sidewall with 100% silicon and Peace River Valley, uh, Peace River Gravel. And then I'll show you the winter suite on how that thing, how that uh, seedling starting to grow. So let's, Let's do the unveiling. I got the tissue here to keep the dust out when it was drying. So there's our fisherman. There he is with his catch. And there is the water. That looks pretty good for water. I mean, it's a nice, clear, crystal clear shine with that amazing pour. I mean, really good. But you can see it's porous, the clay. So naturally, it it, uh, it went through, but that's all right because we're going to still give it another seal just to be safe, so no water gets inside into the into the pot. So to do that, I'm going to have to cover this real good, so I don't get nothing in there. That's nice and hard. So this is like uh, seven full days almost. So what we're going to use is the 100% the silicon, and we're going to paint it on the on the uh, inside of the wall right right here. Oh, let me show you. Right into there, right onto that, right onto the wall, and then we're going to put the Peace River gravel in there, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. But first, let's take it, and then to puncture it, you just hit it like this to get a hole in there and then I have my nozzle and then all I'm going to do is fill up all the wall here try to get into the corner the best I can oh, it's a little toughy to get out I cannot believe that so let's really, there we go. Puncture it out, squeeze it. Man, this is a toughy, toughy. And just squeeze it all into the bottom. All around the sides. I should have did this for, in the first place, but eh, what are you going to do? So let's get this really, really into there. Squeeze out as much as we can. I'm using the aquarium sealer because it dries faster. 24 hours, it says in 48 hours you can fill up the aquarium with water. Well, we're not going to have water. We just want this to prevent it from leaking in to our scene there. I'm just going to keep squeezing it out of the tube. I know it looks a little messy. I wish I could do a better close-up for you. But let's see if I can do it this way. And what I'm going to do, if you can see the wall, I'm just going to smear it all in there. And get it into the bottom, into all the crevices. Just like that. And just get it all over that wall so nothing leaks through. Just move it back and forth. Get it in there. Don't be afraid to push it in there. Get it up to the side wall here. Just to be on the safe side. Get that all into there. I can put just a little more in. 
you gotta wear gloves with this stuff because you don't wanna get it on your fingers. There we go, we just gotta squeeze it in. I wanna get this whole wall really, really coated. Just like that. Get it all in the best I can. Get it up the side wall there. There. I just wipe it. I won't screw it. Put the cap on so it doesn't start to get a, a skin on there. Now I can try a popsicle stick. Maybe that'll be better than a brush. And just get it into the corners every place. Just get it in there real good. You don't have to worry about how it looks because we're going to put the stone in there. And we'll see how much sticks to it. Just like that. There we go. Get it into all the crevices we can get it into so it don't leak in. Take that piece of dust off. And then we'll take my my little brush and get it in as best we can. I don't want it perfectly smooth because this will give it character when the rock sticks. So just like that, get it all in, just dab it in real good. Now it's going to start to dry. So what are we going to do? I think it, this here and they're pretty good just like that ah let's open a tube up and just squeeze it onto the fingers that's the best way to do it as long as you got your gloves on you're all right and just get it inside there just like that so once we got that in there Okay, let me take the glove off. We got to seal the hole in the bottom of the pot with just a piece of tissue so all the rock don't fall out. And then we're going to take our Peace River gravel here. I know it's hard to see. I wish I had an overhead view, but let me get this in a little bit more closer for you to see what I'm doing. There we go. And you can see all the, the caulk there. And all I'm going to do is take the gravel. I'll just cut a little corner, notch in the corner, and I'm going to fill this bowl up. Just like that. Now you're saying to do that, this way here we can press it into the wall. And whatever sticks, we'll find out in uh, 24 hours tomorrow. We'll find out how it works. If all goes well. But see, just by doing this, you'll have a nice rock wall. And it should be pretty sealed. There we go. Just like that. So... In 24 hours, it should be dry enough so we can dump all the rock out. And Mr. Fisherman can be happy, and then we can start doing our plant. Now, for our winter suite. Let me take all, let me get this back so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take all this out of the way, my brushes. Always keep them in something. Take my gloves, throw them in the garbage there. Okay, take the caulk. I know this is going to be solid, but we can always poke through it. Don't need that. Okay, here's, here's the winner. This is my, my makeshift little greenhouse. And you can see 
this is in there like uh, eight days and because of the cold and everything the winter sweet is just starting to grow but it's growing straight it's not growing towards the window because the aluminum foil is giving light all the way around it see that none of the other seeds are starting to grow except this one seed so that's pretty good so this is all where I keep it and then from one of my viewers they says Tom use a heating mat to help your uh, stuff grow so I got the heating mat under here for the for the mangroves and I got it plugged in so let's see if that'll help the roots get them started and then we can go from there but that's a short clip on what on what I'm doing so far with the the little fishermen and I'm just gonna leave this in here for now so it doesn't get dirty and that floral wire really works good on the keeping the making a little stringer for the fish and your little your little fishing rod so today's Thursday thank you for coming to this short little update uh, today is read a book day <laughs> now this book ugh, is from 1961 it's an old book my, that my aunt gave me before she passed away bless God bless her soul and uh, it's got a lot of good stuff it's the illustrated home garden encyclopedia <laughs> but it's got about your trees and your shrubs so you can get ideas of what you want to use for bonsais and let me show you the book so you can see what's in there a little bit but that's the book all the different it's even got color pictures in there look at that look how nice so it's just something different for you to get ideas look at your Japanese maple here really really nice looking stuff so and grab a nice hot cup of tea pull out a, pull out an old a good old-fashioned book and just sit back in your favorite chair with your cup of tea relax and do something different read a book but read a, a book that you can hold in your hands I was a little bit heavy <laughs> I've been looking through it it's pretty good for back in the day it's got a lot of good information but good stuff here right now I don't know what, what else oh we hit this pretty good you got different you know it's got all the way from A to Z all different stuff all different things you can look at I mean there we go I don't think you want to see my ugly kisser here <laughs> but there are all this all different ideas of what you can do how you can do it how to prune your fruit so that's a good this is good on pruning for your bonsai trees because if you can prune this you can prune your bonsai tree real good so it's a good pretty good book so take care enjoy a good book I don't want to bore you to death cup of tea good book relax in your favorite chair and enjoy the rest of the evening take care everybody